Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Goof Pad Podcast. Like the Drip League Podcast, but better. Also, we're not a fucking Let's Play. Welcome, everybody, to the show today. I uh, got a little bit of topics here and there, but mostly Q&A. Uh, it's me, your boy, Chubbs, joined by Mike. Yo. And Scrumpy. Yeah. So, let me get my fucking list Scrumpy's out. Scrumpy's my Snow White pressure. tonight. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, baby. He simps for a new girl every fucking week. Yep. Yeah. That should be a new topic every week. This, Who's Scrumpy Sim now? This one might last, though. On Twitter, you said I'm loyal, and I was like, that's the biggest fucking yeah. lie I ever like saw. Like, you're an Allison Stan. He's like, all right, this is going to be probably the longest lasting one then. And he goes to <laughs> Snow White. Oh, God. Traitor. Uh, like always, been playing the shit out of Elden Ring. I killed her, Don. Same um, here. Fun fight. Uh, I was, I'm Faith, so I just rotted him, which I didn't know would work. Uh, then procced Ice, and he was dead by the moment he landed in phase two. Fun fight. Uh, they had a lot of nerfs. Um, pressing Redon still felt hard. So I don't know what the fuck anyone's talking about. They nerfed my sword, the Nine Flame. Um, pre pre patch, it did about like a thousand damage. Uh, so far it's doing around almost eight hundred to a thousand. And if I just buff, which I always have to buff on anyway, I'm doing a thousand anyway. So good, pa- a good patch from FromSoft. Uh, I I clearly noticed the difference. Totally not lying here. Yeah, that's been my own ring experience so far. I love the game. Man, you guys experienced the p- nerves? I experienced the buff. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't believe Magic got a buff. Like, most of the Magic I use got like a 50% decrease in FP cost and a 33% increase in damage. So it got cheaper and more powerful. So I'm living the life and a range increase for my Glidstone Shard. So. What about you, you Scrumpy? I'm living it. What about me? Blah, blah, what? Sorry. The Eldering nerfs and shit. How you feeling? I'm Eldering going? nerfs. Uh, I haven't really read them. So I can't really talk about it that much. But I think I think they did a pretty good job about it. Oh, dude, we got we got old Scrubby back. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about Black Pete with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta be racist, dog. Uh, so let's just get going here. Jitsu Kaisen. The movie's coming out. I cannot wait to see I'm that hyped. shit. I saw the ratings. 99 on audience. My friend is so, seeing it today, and I'm so jealous. Like, oh my god, I want to see that shit so bad. I got paid, so I could theoretically just go today and, you know, be like Harry Osborne and to just stare at her from behind her in the theater. <laughs> or I could go Monday with my sister, who's also a fan. So I us go Monday with you, sis. Yeah. But you see, I'm uh, selfish. And I don't like waiting. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, Scrumpy still needs to watch the fucking anime. Yeah, we are, we're going to force you to do it. Listen to the, he listened to the OP, but didn't watch the what? goddamn anime. Yeah. You said Do the I Jujutsu to... Kaisen music is a banger. But, yeah, yeah, I did. And yet you refuse to watch the anime. Uh, I've, I, I, I've never, like, refused or anything, but... I'm just not very interested in it, is the thing. I hate this motherfucker. Let's hey. Let's get on topic here. Uh, Scrumpy listened to a bunch of anime, a- anime openings yesterday. Uh, so he asked me for suggestions. Mike, you can you can judge what I suggested him, okay? All right. Uh, I suggested uh, Bleach opening 1 and 13. I recommend 2 favorites. also. I don't remember 2. Two's the one with... um. It's uh, D Trauma Live or something like that. I, I told her I don't know who I told this to, but I I I think I love Bleach's like atmosphere. I like the characters. I love the openings. It's got a cool idea. I just couldn't really get into it. I, I felt really mid with it. Um, I don't know. I thought there was a lot of things that I just couldn't keep me in in there. I'm Bleach. basically the same. I love everything about. It. I just feel like they need to tone back a lot of things. Like Ichigo being a master of everything. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I also uh, get, uh, showed him Overlord ending three. I love Overlord. I gotta watch that with Gusty. Fucking, that's a great anime. I, I, I to, read the uh, light novel. He needs to listen to all Attack on Titan music. Do I? I, 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 did, I did not recommend any Attack on Titan. Cause I, did, I only know like <laughs> season one. Oh damn! I will say Attack on Titan music is full of bangers. I should have suggested the Rumbling. That's a good one. Like um, about- Reluctant Heroes is a banger. I was just gonna say Reluctant Heroes is a banger. Barricades too, but uh, 
Yeah, a lot of anime openings are pretty good. Um, he really likes the Beast Stars opening too. Sent the yeah, furry. Like if, he asked, I, me, so he like, asked me to explain the anime, and I said furry. Said fuck. <laughs> I saw the Beast Stars anime. I'm like, this does not look like it's for me. And yet, I have a friend who's like really into it. I'm like, I'm hmm. I'm kind of judging them. <laughs> what you watching there, buddy? <laughs> Hey oh, there, my it's... buddy, old pal, friendo, amigo, <laughs> pal, friendo. I see you're watching an enemy there. Hey, are you watching Zootopia over there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I really, really enjoy uh, the second opening of it. I think it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it becomes a meme with Scrubby. Just, I really like this. It's good. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> Not nothing. It's just funny to make fun of it. Yeah. I really oh, like man. this. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh I forgot what I was going to talk about. I, uh, I showed him one of my personal favorite, uh, Space Dandy. That has a great uh, opening. Oh, yeah. I have uh, a whole playlist of anime openings that I really like. It's good. I love uh, Death Note openings, too. <laughs> Death Note's really good. Yeah. Let's see. All right. I guess it's time to get in the Q&A, huh? Yeah. So, on Twitter, uh, on my uh, uh, account, at Chubbs underscore goof. Uh, and then Mike the underscore or M underscore Forge 12. <laughs> he's got to put his shit in yeah, there. Yeah. And then Make Scrumpy's sure bottle of Scrumpy. Again, it's in the. It's always in the description. I always put it there so everyone's curious. Yeah, I just want people to know who, me, or who I am. <laughs> Calling he'll, delete, he'll delete his fucking he'll delete his Twitter when he gets fucking big on the filming shit. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, I still recommend you can just do what I was probably gonna do at a thousand where you just go private mode. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Uh, anyway, so I asked everyone to ask us anything in the podcast, so we're just gonna go through them. Uh, from uh, Ras, why is Ras the best person on Twitter ever? Um, You're not. I I hate that guy, man. I fuck that guy. He's yeah. not even the best person. I think I'm better personally. Oh yeah, well, you're not even the best. Let's be honest. I think I think Balls Lover Thirty Two is the best person on Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, the dude that started beef with the Dream. Yeah, man, I can't like if I was like a famous millionaire dude and I started beef with a motherfucker named Balls, uh, I got I got ended. Yeah, that why you know they're just a troll at that point. Well, you Scrumpy is is he the best person on Twitter? Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah, he's good. I like him. <laughs> uh, I hate this next question. What's your favorite live action Nickelodeon show from the mid two thousands? Drake and Josh. <laughs> uh, same. Drake and Josh. Uh, no other shows. Actually, uh, Zoe One and One was a real banger. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> All right. Uh, what about you, Scrappy? Wait. I've never, never really watched Nickelodeon that much, to be honest. Damn, so you didn't have a childhood? No, I didn't have a childhood at all. I watched Cartoon Network. I so. bet he watched Dutch cartoons. I mean, they're all, they're, all, they're, all translate, they're all translated to Dutch, so it's pretty fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I really like Drake and Josh. Uh, like, it's, I, my favorite was Josh, personally. I wasn't basic. Drake fans suck. L. Um, who, who's laughing now? <laughs> I was the Drake stan. <laughs> who's laughing now? Never trust a dude named Drake. I love, They'll either date Millie Bobby Brown or... Have you ever seen that Todd Hot Howard clip where he's like, I was in the chess club, you know? And went and picked on me and he's went, who's laughing now? I'm going to play quarterback for the Cowboys and I'll be like, I'm going to make video games and everyone's going to play them. I'm like, you dork. Go back to the chess club. Who's laughing now? Yes, I was in the chess club. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was in the chess club. <laughs> what the fuck, man? But uh, I love, I love Drake and Josh. I just love, love funny clips in there. This, <laughs> you call me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. It's so <laughs> annoying to find like full Drake and Josh uh, like seasons, because everywhere I look, there are some episodes taken out, and I think it's for like the music they use. But it's so annoying because it's like I won't watch it all when I want to rewatch it. You know, I could uh, separate J- Drake ever, from it all, but... Have you ever heard the Crazy Steve th- uh, theory? No. The theory is that Crazy Steve goes so insane that he kidnaps Megan and forces us to do the web show, and that's why we got Ari Carly. 
<laughs> Imagine iCarly ending with Drake and Josh coming to rescue her. Yeah, that's 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 the theory. And it also explains like why their dad's never there. It's it's a funny theory. It's not true, but it's a fun one. <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, this one's a multiple one. Favorite Pokemon. All right, that's a tough question. I only know God of War. All right, you're thinking with your dick. I'm thinking with yeah. my heart. <laughs> yeah, I actually was. <laughs> I'm going to say Cyndaquil. That was my first Pokemon, and it's one of my favorites. Oh, it's so funny you say that, because mine is Chikorita. Get burnt. I'm going to burn you. You know what? I'm going to smoke that Chikorita kush. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm glad you're dead left. <laughs> Okay, bro. All right. Well, at least I don't take showers in fear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. At oh, least God. I don't simp for a different woman every week. <laughs> Damn, he wasn't even saying nothing. Yeah, even... <laughs> oh, man, setting a fucking void here. At least I'm not <laughs> eating my mic. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh yeah, I love Chikorita. He's like my first like star as well. I just love him. I love grass types a lot. Uh, what about you, Scrumpy? Love like Pokemon? Yeah, favorite Pokemon. Oh yeah, you already yeah. said Garden War. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think, I, I think like fucking what's the fucking name? Mud Mudkip or something. Oh Mudkip's pretty base. Mud, Mudkip. <laughs> yeah, man, Mudkip's fucking going. Gen three has Mudkip. really good starters. Like that's the one gen that I can't decide on which starter I like the most. Favorite fruit and why? I love strawberries. And uh, something my mom used to do a lot is that she get like cream ch- or it was sour cream and brown r- brown r- sugar, mix it and drizzle it on top of those uh, uh, strawberries. Hmm. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, I just kind of like bananas. They're tasty. I like them. No wonder why you have a <laughs> fixation good. for dick. You know what? Yeah, I suck trans dick, so what? So based, so based. This is the podcast episode where I'm just attacking everyone now. <laughs> the b- bully, bully Mike, like bully Toby. <laughs> There's a reason I'm he's my favorite Spider Man. I'm, I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> your trash uh, chubs. <laughs> What's wrong? Is a little chaser gonna cry? <laughs> anyway, uh, what's your favorite fruit, uh, Scrumpy? Apple, I don't know why. I just I really like green apples, mostly. Oh, green apples! I, I like really green good. apples that are not what ripe. They're like what? more sour. Yeah, they're huh? not ripe. The more sour. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I do like that. So, yeah, like because they're they're fully fresh. They kind of lose that bit a bit, so it's like kind of there, but not where you want it. There was a guy who had a green apple tree. And I pl- I would pluck them when they weren't ready. Like they when they were growing a bit, but they weren't just yet because they're prime sour and it's just t- it's tasty. Yeah. That's probably the most of my life I ever ate something healthy. <laughs> <laughs> sour green apples are the best. Uh, would you ever do a risky activity? Example: skydiving, mountain climbing, and why? What if there's a prize involved? Um, the prize would have to be probably, really good. I probably wouldn't do skydiving. I would do mountain climbing. I don't. How's that risky? Well, you see, if you're overweight like I am, you might break I, the line. I would, yeah. I would do mountain climbing. I wouldn't do that. I'd probably do skydiving as long as I have somebody there to like assist. Like I wouldn't do it myself. I, in all honesty, probably wet myself. Uh, I would probably do like I would just like climb Mount Everest for like a, like a million or so. Oh, I wouldn't do that. They got bodies as checkpoints. Yeah, I don't like you get like I I feel like you could do it. Like I'm fat, and I I believe in that shit. I, I'm built different. Built uh, what about what about you, Scrum? Uh, risky activities. Uh, I would do mountain climbing, but skydiving probably not. To be honest, skydiving skydiving just kind of I don't know scary for me. How about diving with sharks? Uh, as long as everything's safe and all, I'm sure. It's like cage diving, yeah. Yeah, fine with that. Go walk into Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, I got that 6% African. I'm good. 
<laughs> I, want, I would have loved to see Scrumpy walk through Baltimore. Hello, guys. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what Baltimore is, to be honest. Oh, it's, it's oh. great. It's <laughs> yeah, nice it's, a, it's a wonderful go place. Go visit. <laughs> uh, Someone ask trust me it isn't. Ask them if they've seen Avon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, would you ever become part robot if the opportunity arises? Hell yeah. I We had a scenario question before, and I always had to redo it because I instantly say no. Because the way how the, like our shit works in reality... She, like, cause like you, you entire talk about shows. You can get hacks. Like, what? Are you, like, it, like, there's so many negatives that there's not actually, a, there's no point to doing it. It's honestly better. Just like if that comes mm. like the mainstream, it's better to become a hacker because you're more, more powerful than than you would be w- with a robotic parts. So we had to make a rule. Cause me, me, and you had this conversation, Mike. We had yeah. to make a thing where it couldn't be hacked so easily. Cause anyway, there's no point to actually becoming part robot because it's just worse. Yeah. Honestly, though. I'd probably get robotic, robotic dick. So we take out the whole hacking thing that just kind of like ends the fucking question. Uh, you said dick. <laughs> You're just now processing. <laughs> yeah. Imagine like putting that get, shit on vibrate. I would get a robotic right eye, uh, left arm, and a right leg. And I would become a bad. Why hunter. those specific? Because I would then go to Africa and kill poachers. With your left arm? Left. No, cause like my, with my eye, I would like have a gun, and like my left arm would be like a good uh, weapon too. Since it's like a sword. Okay. Um. All right, all right. Are you gonna question me when you just, all you said was dick? Well, I didn't say everything. That was just the thing that first came up. I'm just wondering, like, why your left hand and not your right hand? You know what I mean? Shut up. Hey, I'm just uh, trying to expand the question, you know. <laughs> I totally, like, uh, get a whole bunch of uh, cybernetic enhancements. I'm not afraid you of that. Become, you become that Sam guy from fucking Cyberpunk. Actually, his name is Adam Smasher. Uh, I always call him Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a cop. I would be like a Johnny Silverhand without the communism. Communism? What? I don't think he is a fan of communism either. I think he's just like, he hates the corporations because they're just greedy. Which, they're true. True, but everyone puts him in a communism thing. But yeah. Like, I-, I love to be like a giant still hand, just like, go on a stage with my fucking Glock. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most, like, gangsta shit ever. I'm here to fuck shit and rock shit up. Wait. I'm Johnny fucking Silverhand. A samurai. They turn him to a pickle. Funniest shit I ever <laughs> seen. Cybernetic pickle. Anyway, would you get any enha- enhancements, Scrumpy? Robot enhancements? Sure. Why not? Where? Uh. Uh, something with the eyes, maybe. <laughs> Robotic butts. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I like it. It's cool. What? No, what? <laughs> like, y'all are laughing for no reason. All right. How many Goofy Movie related questions do you think there will be? Uh, This is the first one. I thought there would oh, be fuck, like I skipped, five. Well, this one, I have to go back. I skipped one of their questions. Uh. Anyway, uh, I thought there would be like at least two. Anyway, Good go involvement, Scrumpy. All right, would you make a deal with a supernatural entity and why? It really That's depends what on like, what's at the cost. Like, I'm not going to sell my soul for anything because that's my soul. Yeah, they always say the bad thing, but like, low key, like, the devil wanted me just to hunt down pedophiles and shit, and I just get powers. That's the only thing. I just kill pedophiles. I don't see the, like, the owl here. Yeah, I get but powers, not... and there's less pedophiles. Yeah, but thing is like at what cost like are you giving him your soul to in order to do that because then your soul is going to be stuck with the pedophiles in hell that just means i get to kill him again <laughs> you know what i wouldn't mind that if i was like a enforcer in hell <laughs> be like doom slayer i like to imagine like hell for me i like to imagine like the uh, little nicky hell so like like if you're a demon it's just kind of like chill you're just walking down like hey what's up man what are you <laughs> doing oh i gotta go burn hitler today like oh man yeah, you haven't stuck the pineapple <laughs> up his butt <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i don't know like 
I like to think uh, of it like Supernatural with like Crowley too. Yeah. Shows like how nerdy I am with like talk about Crowley. Love that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Could be something like uh, what the fuck was his name? Doctor uh, Doctor Fate, where like the deal is like he becomes like a superhero, but he's also like almost a pawn of the the of Fate. Yeah. Nerd. Yeah. What you scrum? Sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> Uh, what would you make a deal with a supernatural entity and why? Uh, it depends on what. It just depends on what kind of things there are, actually. Like, right. what is the deal? What are the consequences? And stuff like that. You die in thirteen years, but you get the your biggest waifu. No. Oh, that's a shock. Oh, it's All probably right, because you, his waifu changes like every other week. You get superpowers, yeah. but you must hunt down the sinners. Uh, okay, that's that's fine with me. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I like it. It's cool. Anyway, all right. Uh, what other podcasts, if any, do you listen to? I actually don't listen to podcasts. My sister always recommends me some. I'm like, cool. I'll listen to it, and I never do. <laughs> I wish like, to watch podcasts. <laughs> the most I do is this, and occasionally I look at like a Joe Rogan clip. But that is usually because of the guests. For example, like I saw the moment with like him talking to Robert Downey Jr. about like him and Tropic Thunder. I don't actively care about Joe Joe Rogan either way. It's more like I'm interested in the guests. Any podcasts, Crump? No, I have not watched any podcasts. Except that verse, of course. <laughs> I I listened to a, a good couple episodes of the Drip Leagues. Um, hey, no plugging. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but... Sorry, we won't we won't mention that name. But other than that, it's not uh I used to watch a lot of creature talk back in the day, but they're no longer around. That's what inspired this. Yeah, so that's that's yeah. If you ever wanna what what our vibe is, go watch creature talk uh, episodes if they're still around. Um but yeah, I don't really miss it too much. Any of else. Most overrated movies? Overrated. <laughs> <laughs> well first of all, we turning red. Uh, what's someone? What's someone piss someone off? All right. Ooh, I don't know if I want to say this. Oh no, the first Matrix. Oh. Yeah, I can see that. Why? Yeah. I had another answer, but like the movie itself isn't bad, and I just hate the people who like watch it. What was it? So it's not really it's not really overrated. It's just I hate the fandom. It's a, like American Psycho. Oh. Like I actually don't think the movie's bad. I just don't like the people who watch it. I see what you mean. I think the fandom is whatever. I'm not the only experience I have with it really is all the memes that are posted from it, which is hilarious. I love the oh, business you know, card scene. I got it. Star Wars. Like they've all been mid. Like, I like Star Wars, but, like, the movies themselves? Eh? No, I don't really agree with that. I think they're just, they're, they're, they're pretty good for what uh, yeah. people Yeah, I will say the original trilogy is good. Prequels yeah. are meant to really good. I really like the third one. The first two are whatever. The sequels. <laughs> Those are trash. <laughs> yeah. Fucking God. Well, the first one was all right. It had a good yeah. premise and all that. But I feel like it was a good it, setup. I think I they just still, dropped the ball. I, my I my biggest take is I think if they just deleted Ray and made Finn the protag, I would have loved it. Yeah, that's what everyone agrees. It's like they should have just had Finn be the the protagonist, because you got a stormtrooper that deserves. He's like the possible... first guy. Like he's like the like it almost feels like he's supposed to be it. Yeah, he's in like Ray all the trailers too. Yeah, it's just like why the fuck like Finn had so much good story. But you uh, want to know why? Was... China. He's black. Yeah. So that's why every time I see like, oh, we're having a gay character in our movie now. It's like, all right, show me the China release. <laughs> release the China cut. Uh, favorite stand-up comedians. Um, Robin Williams. He's good. Yeah. Just good. <laughs> I, 
I said he was good. <laughs> uh, I think I think the greatest of all time, just in general, is Dave Chappelle. Uh, so Dave Chappelle, uh, Bill Burr, uh, Burt Kreischer, Tom Segura. I'm trying to think if I got any other ones. Uh, Sam Sam Morrell. He's like a he's kind of like a comer up, but he's like good. Uh, carrot top. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, Gabriel uh, Iglesias. Um, oh yeah, and Gabe. I love Gabe. Yeah. Gabriel. Um, there was that one guy. I forget his name, but he did like the Mighty Mouse impression. And like the man. There was like a whole thing with like the man on the moon. I think. I don't uh, really know that I'm blanking on him. Trevor. Uh, oh, Norm Macdonald. Rest in peace. Norm was great. Uh, did you ever hear about his uh, his clock joke? No. Uh, I'll, I'll look that up, but while Scruffy tells his favorite comedians. Favorite comedians? Uh, I mean, a few, a few Dutch ones, of course. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. For English comedians, I don't know. Really, to be honest, I, I don't watch many English comedians. All right. What are the, the, the your Netherlands comedian names? You're gonna fucking ridicule me for it, but I think the one that's the most fun is uh, Jochem Meyer. But I've seen that guy. You uh, you don't? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking, you're an piece of shit, you know. I, is, I was like, like he's probably he... lying, but I kind of want to see where he's going with this. <laughs> I was hoping he would kind of give me some ground work, but then he shut it down immediately. <laughs> hey, yeah, duh. He really like, fought me when he said the most unpronounceable name. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> I was like hoping like said like Jeff like La Raga. Uh, but Norman McDonald's like a clock joke is um, why did Tim throw the clock out the window? Why? It reminded him of Arnold Clock, the man convicted of knife raping his wife. What? <laughs> what? I love Norm, dude. He has some fucking terrible jokes. I love he Robin Williams. Does, also, Norm does it in like a 1950s like style. He's like, what? He does it in a lot of voice acting. Like, he did a lot. He was in like uh, Fairy Godparents, uh, that that one uh, anime Santa Claus movie. Uh, fucking that one Ty- anime Mike- Santa Claus movie. There's like millions. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Mike Tyson's uh, Mystery Team. I love that show. But uh, yeah. Let's get over here. Uh, let's see. From Gusty, what's the piece of fiction that held the biggest impact on each of your um, of, of your upbringings? Zoe one hundred and one. I hate you. <laughs> um, Jurassic Park for me. That really? Yeah, it's the thing I watched all the time as a kid. Like the biggest impact on your upbringing. It said upbringing, so childhood, yeah. <laughs> Don't mix DNA. <laughs> like, something like Baby Driver, I uh, grew up with, like, I didn't grow up with. I watched that more on the recent side. Um, Spider-Man. I'm going I'm to I'm be a fucking nerd when it comes to my t- turn. <laughs> Spider-Man is a big one, I will say. That's where I first saw that my one pair of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's also, it's, I had a whole bunch of, like, printed out Spider-Man pictures, like, you know, for like mini posters when I was a kid because I couldn't afford a poster so just print out images of it and uh I will I, I could be judged however I want but I also was a fan of Nickelback because of them I like uh Wannabe Rockstar you mean Rockstar <laughs> no I'm gonna say Wannabe Rockstar now because you corrected me you could have just said yeah because you know I meant but you had to correct me yeah, because that's how I am. I'm I here to bully. You. I fucking hate you. Uh, it's going with you. Great input. <laughs> I love his input. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I didn't have to push this all. Ah. Um, I told you I would forget. Uh, the greatest piece of fiction, I don't know, really. Uh... Like a fiction that had a big impact on your upbringing. American Psycho. Uh, no. <laughs> you really went unhinged because of it. I, I really have no idea, to be honest. 
There wasn't anything that really influenced you as a kid? Mm. Black Pete. <laughs> Black Pete. Yeah. Uh, for me, I said like a thousand times. Uh, it was generally is a Naruto. Um, he's like a lonely kid that just got like, the shithead dealt to him. And like, no matter how much he got knocked down, and he would show like him being upset about it. He would show his anger, but he'd power through it and like have a smile on his face and become like he his dream Hokage was to be like a hope to everyone. And as a kid, I related to that to a lot. So that kind of really affected my upbringing and, like, wanted to be, like, kind of, like, befriend everyone like Naruto did. Yo, when Garo killed those kids, I really felt that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're talking about, like, Naruto and being, like, this wholesome character. I'm like, yeah, well, the first image I ever saw of Naruto was when Garo did, like, sand coughing on those kids. And, like, Look, Garo, Garo's going through a phase, bro. <laughs> and then he becomes a, a Kage in his <laughs> land and... Yeah. Now everyone's going to be like, yeah, he may have killed my kids, but he's now the president, so. What are some dream guests y'all like to have on the podcast, even if it's someone who's impossible to get? Mary Elizabeth Winstead. <laughs> Ali Shitty. Who? Actress of uh, Allison, you know? Oh. Oh, yeah. I think she's uh, doing some stuff now. Is she dead? No, she's in a show yeah. recently. Oh. I don't know what the show is called, but there's a show coming out that she's starring in kind of looks mid uh hmm i'm trying to think i would i want i would want to get uber hacks for nova that'd be uh, really james cool. from, from the creatures if we get him I, we I, also I, have to get alex yeah i would want to get them i wanted to be like like well like, and this is when they, they actually talk about everything i want to know so much like i would want to know like just like I don't know, like, how, like, they were, like, how they do their content. I also want to, like, what do they regret from their creatures? Yeah. I want to know what uh, really got Alex to be top 10 most underappreciated streamer. (laughs) I don't I also want to ask Alex, like, why doesn't he just go full mode on his own stuff? Like, why why go on other projects, you know? Yeah. It seems like he doesn't do much himself. I don't think he cares about his own stuff. Uh, But that's that's what I would, I I just want to know, because, like, He's that. That's like, that's my first YouTuber. Like, that's my favorite guy out there. At that point, um, I want to invite Kutra just like a roll rag on. Back. So, <laughs> my, uh, why would you do something so controversial for a company that you supposedly <laughs> love? Uh, also, my personality kind of like goes off of James, so I like it. I'm a, I'm a mixture of Alex and James a bit, so yeah, them probably that. I'm totally uh, James. And it had to be someone like more realistic. Uh. I think it'd be cool to get like a, like a, Skelly or like, maybe Chris Raygun, or Gusty. Definitely Gusty. I think. But uh, I think it'd be great to have like a whole bunch of uh, special guests. Yeah, we need. I think might do the next episode. Uh, I just it's kind of like uh, kind of like a planning and stuff. Yeah, what we should do is we should just have them like appear in the middle of it, like a surprise. That's what I do in the drip league. I've been, I've been like, just popped in there fucking podcasts a lot of times. Um, oh, oh, oh I feel bad for Gussie. She, she, her, cool, her last question is, what's your, each of your favorite Pokemon? We've done that question. <laughs> well, oh, yeah. my favorite of all. Wait, favorite <laughs> well, or first? I've never heard this before. Yeah. Uh, it's Cyndaquil, totally. Yeah. All right. What is the next game Valve should release? Ooh. ooh. I like this question. Uh, I ironically do not want another Left 4 Dead 3 for a minute. Neither do I. Um, I think Left 4 Dead 2 is in a good spot. I also hated how the de- like, I'm not gonna call them the dev team. That's 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 uh, f- uh fucking false information. I'm the the dev team of Evolve. I should say they fucked that up. And yeah. I think Left 4 Dead 2 is still good. Honestly, I rather just work on Left 4 Dead 2. I rather that. Um. Yeah, like add DLC to it if anything. This is probably gonna be a hot take. I want TF three. Yeah, that, that's never gonna happen though. Uh, again, this this is <laughs> what this is just next game they should release, not like if they would. Team Fortress uh, without bots. Oh yeah, that's true. I think TF two. I I'll be honest. I think TF two is his last his hit. Um, I think F three would be a good one. It's classic new. Uh, you can change up the game. Keep the formula. Uh, on that, I would love a new new Half Life uh, uh, thing. That one, 
used to be it wouldn't have happened, but after Alex, there's now hope for us. It's clear they're still focusing on that. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't I'll be honest, I don't want anything Dota, Dota related. I hate Dota. It's so stupid. I want Dota um, 3. Could, could you use any uh, CSGO? It's been a while. They, their community is kind of just where it was been forever. Another portal uh, would be cool. Another portal would be cool, but I don't know. Portal 2 kind of did in that, in a bow. Yeah. So, it'd be weird how they would go about that, you I know? I guess like more portal projects in the universe. Yeah. Um, but portal is always fun. They could probably do something. And yeah, then again, a new IP. We don't have to be doing the old franchises. We yeah, could get something that new. That's true. Uh, but yeah, uh, honestly, TF3 and a new Half Life game. Again. Uh, on that, pretty simple. <laughs> but you, Scrump. In terms of things I want? Yeah. Uh, well. I want the Wolf Among Us 2 as as soon as fucking possible. Oh, from uh, <laughs> from Valve. Oh, from Valve. Valve. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got so confused. I'm, yeah. I, look, I'm 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 also doing this and I'm trying to listen a lot. We literally so. said before this, like, hey, make sure you put on a game like it's brain dead. <laughs> I'm trying. That's why why you should just start shooting everyone. Yeah. I mean, I could. Oh, don't don't pay attention too much to the gameplay though. Oh yeah, don't pay attention to anything else. Let's play. Okay, bro. But uh, I don't know about oh, like all that blood he's doing. I, I just want oh, God, them there's to blood everywhere. I just want them to fucking play, uh, fucking update TF2 properly, man. Yeah, they need to get yeah. rid of those bots. I, I think it's just gotta be TF3. I think that's the only way. Yeah. Uh, that will never happen. Anyway, uh, we look over here. Also, how long does it take you guys to record and edit your podcast episodes? To record, it's like, uh, usually we go for like so, 45 minutes. I used to say we didn't have a schedule of recording, but we do it pretty much almost every Saturday now. But it's uh, Saturday and Sundays because weekends work best for everyone. Uh, we don't have like a limit. I do try to keep it an hour. So if I feel like at a certain point, because I don't have a fucking counter for me, I'll just ask Mike how long we've been recording. If it's around 45 minutes. That's to me like where I'm comfortable. So 45 to an hour is perfectly fine. Uh, on edit... Um, truthfully, if I started editing like the day it happened, I could probably get that shit the next day. Like if I if I did it as soon as we hit and record, I can get that shit the next day. Um, I'm pretty quick with it. I just kind of like don't do that. <laughs> so like, I think last time it took us a bit longer because I was playing Elden Ring and shit. Yeah. But most times, when I like, when I get that feeling, I don't want to like burn out and stuff. So like, I can really like get the creative creative feel with it, you know. Most likely, I always, I always make sure it's uploaded before we record the next one. Uh, so yeah, I don't have a set day in podcast, but mostly like when we record on Saturday, the next four days it should come out. Like if it comes out like four days exactly, something happened. <laughs> uh, but most likely, <laughs> it should come out in the first. Chef's got days. kidnapped. Yeah, but mostly it's Mike records, sends me the file, and I edit it. Yep. Simple, simple. Uh, how did you I just exist. <laughs> exist the gameplay. I'm but, the gameplay manager. Yeah. How did you and Mike actually meet? We already told this story, so I'm going to skip that. Yeah, you know, check honest. out the podcast episodes before, you nerd. Uh, are Italians <laughs> white? No, we're black. Uh, Hail Hitler. Do you, do you have a favorite film series? Film series. Uh... I'd have to say uh, the John Wick series. That's fair. That, I feel, is something that's pretty consistent with its quality. Things like Jurassic Park, which I really like, there's a very huge dip in quality after a certain point. Uh, Men in Black. Um, big fan of them. There's only, there, were only, there were only three movies. We all know that. Mm -hmm. Only three Men in Black movies. There was another uh, other one. There is no fourth movie of Bossing Say. <laughs> you would uh, get I really that. Liked it. Uh, I think uh, two. Was it? I think it was two that got crit critiqued. Because I think in two, like Jay for the first part is by himself. I like that personally because it's like a good you know, like show of it. I don't know. I also like their messaging because like the point is like not all aliens are like uh, you know evil. Which by the way, the fourth film totally they out the window because like like you know I don't know like. 
I, a bit of it also can go into like the play on like race and illegal immigration, but like it was nice that like you can have like, an ugly alien, but he's actually a cool dude, but, like a beautiful fucking alien, evil person, you know? It Are was, like, all a nice... beautiful women evil? Yeah, it, it's entertaining and also a good message for people. So I like that personally. Yeah. Scrumping. I think Lord of the Rings personally. I think I've, oh, I, I, I really, <laughs> I really enjoyed as a film series. That's actually a good answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Daddy, outdoor hobby? This. Uh, I love to fish. I'm actually a big into fishing. Uh, I find fishing relaxing. Um, it's a good sport. Simple, it's relaxing and fun. I'm a sucker for Lego building. Like that's an outdoor hobby. Oh, outdoor hobby. <laughs> Lego building outdoors. <laughs> um, I really like archery. Like really? Every, yeah. There's actually like an um, archery uh, shop nearby my house. It's indoors, but it's one of those things that I classify as an outdoor activity. I classify, I classify outdoor too. Yeah, it's like you play. You could play football indoors, but in reality, it is an outdoor activity. What about um, you, Scrumpy? Sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> What's your favorite out, outdoor hobby? Outdoor hobby. Uh, I don't go outside. Uh, how about Touch that? grass. Baseball, I, I you know. Oh, I think yeah. baseball, yeah. I think baseball. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, no way. We actually had to no. give you your answer. No, because like, I did not believe that shit. When he said, I don't know, I was like, nah, no, there's no way you don't have one outdoor activity. Yeah, he used to take like, pride in being in baseball. Uh, uh, I was like, there's no, there's no neat shit right there. I love baseball. I, I just love fishing more. Oh yeah, that's uh, another reason you love Jujutsu Kaisen, Scrumpy. There's a whole baseball episode. Yeah, there's a baseball episode. You should watch the episode. I mean, oh, yeah, shit. Anyway. But yeah, like, baseball's fun. I mentioned that because I mentioned before he loved baseball. So I was like, I was, like, I, was, I was waiting for the baseball answer. When he said he did know, I was like, all right, dog. I was like, hold on. <laughs> but yeah, baseball's fun. Football, uh, hiking, camping, all kinds of cool shit you can do outside. Yeah, I'll go camping one of these. Sure, things. we're losing our audience. They're all needs. Uh, <laughs> are you gay if you like pegging? Should I we're, not, like no, we're not going to go into this fucking question. No. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. He got I'm insulted. Not, I'm not okay, I'll, this. I'll, not I'll, going. I'll skip it if we have, or we're doing good on time. Mike, how much time are we in? We are at um, 45. Oof. I was going to try it. I don't, I don't want to skip this question, bro. I feel like there could be some talk. All right, if you don't want to answer, we'll skip it. Yeah, I just don't want to go into this fucking debate. There. Let's be honest. It's such right. a I'll give my perspective right. then real quick. No, it's not because okay. that's where the G-spot is. So there's got to be a purpose right. for it. Sorry, homie. We're skipping it then. All right, fast food, fair fast food joint. McDonald's. Wendy's. Don't be mad at me. I've never had Wendy's. <laughs> I really like their food. Their burgers are really nice. I like Jack and Box, but that's like low quality. Get a Baconator. A Baconator? Yeah. All right. What are you, Scrumpy? I think McDonald's as well. I think it's pretty good. Well, yeah, he's he's Dutch, so his options are limited. Unless no, he wants well, to talk why do I even bother like, like, fucking answering questions where you're gonna fucking <laughs> drag me through the mud for it anyway? Because, hey, we gotta do something with you. Oh, That's, okay. That, that kind of sounds like sexual. Anyway, do you like cook home meals or would you want a partner good at cooking? All right. I want both. I, don't, I, don't, I have a really, a really sexist take right here. Oh, no. But not in the way you think. It's gonna really sound weird. I don't like women that cook because most women can't cook. That's a hot take. Moms are good at cooking, but most women are on my age are fucking dog shit, bro. I'm way better than them. Like, why would I want her to cook if she can't cook right? I can cook. Let me cook, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm getting canceled. You know what's funny? I, know, I, think, the, I uh, think the feminists <laughs> would be around me with that one. Juliet actually took culinary school, so she knows how to cook. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm good in that regard. But I like to cook, but, so I want to do something. But to cook I, myself. I would like a girl who could cook. Um, but I, I'm, I'm really good at cooking, so like I, I don't mind. I just like cooking for people. Yeah. It's uh, fun. but home, I'll be honest. Home cooked meals just hit hard. It like hard as fuck. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I don't mind anyone cooking me. I just there's a lot of people I know who shit cooking. Like they're, they like their cooking is like they put a thing in the microwave, hit a button. Yeah, or they don't add any spice. 
Oh, God. I had a loss by its Italian mode. Uh, Scrumpy. Yeah, I think uh, homemade as well. I think that's a better option out of this. Would you want a partner good at cooking? Uh, yeah, well... Or would you rather be the one that cooks I think, for everyone? I, I, would like, I would like to balance it out so both uh, we both do it. Based. All right. Uh, do you have a favorite ice cream flavor? Mixed. Strawberry. What? One hundred percent. What? I, just heard, I heard so much happen right there. I heard, I heard strawberry mint. I heard Mike go what? <laughs> What's wrong with strawberry? Strawberry is fucking goaded though. What the fuck? What is wrong with strawberry? I don't know. Every time I get like the Neapolitan, where it's like those three flavors of one, I hate the strawberry and those. Um. So fun fact: I hate sweets. I hate them. Uh, that being said, though, I do have a favorite flavor, which is vanilla. It's like I know, but you know, I'm much of a sweet guy. So if I like, if I like a sweet thing, it go. I have a better opinion than most. Uh, <laughs> your opinion is discarded. My opinion: <laughs> mint chocolate chip, the best. Uh, I don't think I really like mint. Uh, would you ever have a dangerous such exotic pet? Poisonous could not. Carnivore, high maintenance, like a tiger, snake, shark. Yes, I would. Um, Penguin. That took a lot of processing to think. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> I'm still processing. <laughs> the, what, the penguin? <laughs> dangerous, exotic. He's exotic. I thought we were talking about like, specifically dangerous. All right, I'll, how about this? We do exotic and dangerous. Cause, all right, look. I want a penguin, and I would name him Flappy Boy. <laughs> well, in that case, I want an otter. Now, otter? Dangerous. Uh, penguin's better. You know what? Our pe- our penguin and otter can become best friends. <laughs> I'm going to have my penguin fuck your otter and make a new species. What the fuck, bro? You see my profile pic? That's the face I'm making right now. <laughs> you see my profile pic? That's the face I'm making. <laughs> all right, you furry. Yeah, I would fuck him. Anyway, I'm dangerous. Hmm. A wolf. You know, I'd go with that too. I I hate snakes, so I don't want anything like that. Big um, wolf. My my uncle and the snake. It scared the shit out of me. I hate him. Yeah. Oh, you? What are you? Scrump, scrump. All right. What was the question again? <laughs> An exotic <laughs> animal you want, and a dangerous animal you want. Uh. I would also have a penguin and a bear. That's what I would go for. Based. Based. I think fun a bear. Fact, fun bear's fact cool. about bears, uh, they're not meant to be pets. I know you're going to laugh at that, but some some like like out there things could actually be pets. They're able to. They're just not done a lot because of laws. Uh, but bears, people own them, but like on fields. They're not pets. They're still wild animals. So they're cool. And I, I like bears as well, but like. The motherfuckers will get you. <laughs> Fun fact, bears are state animal. Yeah, California. Yeah. I've never seen a bear. <laughs> I don't know why the way you said that made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, fun fact, bears are a state animal. I've, I've never, never seen, seen a bear. bear. <laughs> the only bear I see is the one I see in the mirror. Yo, shout out to my penguin, Flapjack. So true. It's all about uh, yeah. Grape Coon. Ah, oh, Grape Coon, bro. I love him. Yeah. What's your favorite uh, book or book series? Mm. Uh, book series, ABZ Mysteries, when I was a kid. And book, uh, The Outsiders. I'm torn between The Book of Lost Things, The Giver, and... Oh sure. my eye, dude. I'm gonna fucking kiss you, dude. I love The Giver. That I love shit it. was so good. I'll never forget my mind oh. blown when I realized that they can't even see color. Oh my god, dude. Like, where he's talking about like, the apple, like, something changed with the apple. I don't know what. It stayed the same, but I'm like, wait, what's going on with the apple? And then The Giver's like, oh yeah, you just saw red. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what? Man, like. Remember when I, like, I can't believe I was like when I learned the protagonist lives in fucking China. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was good. And the yeah. giver, the giver has a good point. I remember like when he finally feels pain, and the giver explains like his because pro- before he didn't get like, there was a girl he loved, 
and he didn't give her pain. And so she, he gave her too much like lovey stuff that when she got pain, it was too much and she killed herself. Yeah. Or, uh, I was in there because I don't want to spoil the book. Yeah. Uh, like it's a it's legit a good, good book. I think there was it, a movie based heard, off it. I but... heard there was a movie. I never saw it. All um, I remember I mean, that they actually did is that they did make it black and white until he gets colors. Yeah. That's all uh, I remember the, about it. The Giver, it was a really good book. It's a, it's really good. I like The Outsiders. Probably because it's a very, like, it, the, the characters, they don't say it, I don't think, but they're Italian. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Liguini. But yeah, I love it. Uh, Johnny Boy, Go and, go and Tell. Like, I love all love the characters. But yeah. What about you, Scrump? I think uh, Book of Ice and Fire is uh, really good. And, and the Lord of the Rings series. That's that's uh, what I'm gonna go for. No, <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> okay, I just I, I nerded out about the giver. I, I think I'm yeah. a nerd. Yeah, I mean I was gonna be like nerd, but it's like I mean it's Lord of the Rings. That's you get a pass with that. Um, hmm. who does there to be the most oppressed? I'm already Me. oppressed, so I'm an Irish black man. Uh, I'm yep. double slave. Where can we listen to this awesomeness? I'll try to think of some question topics. You can listen to this on YouTube where you're listening right now. Yeah, and no longer or else. No longer Spotify. Yep. You can find us anywhere Spotify. except the Spotify, uh, <laughs> Apple Music. Hey, uh, you can find us anywhere but everywhere else but YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are Italians all actually autistic about their spirit pastas? Um, I'm not Italian, so I can't speak. I was going to say no, but then I remember my mom hit me with a spoon one time, so mm, yes it. <laughs> my mom is really like into the cooking. Uh, she's also scary. So but mostly my yes. kind of woman. Uh, hey, yo. What hey, are your yeah. thoughts on this image? Yep. I'll, po- I'll post it in the group chat. All right. So what are your thoughts on this image? That's really going to take forever to load, huh? So, That's uh, really nice, nice weather we're having. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah. weather, huh? Uh, yeah, behi- oh, there, there we go. go. What an image. Love the dog hmm. already. Well, you see. I want to grab the, like, grab it and shake it. Yeah. What? You, you ever done that? It's fun. I, don't know, I feel like I'd break its nose off. No, like, I don't want my dog. They like it. I feel like Ginger would really love this dog. <laughs> yeah yeah am i wrong uh, i'm scared how much you would like it <laughs> <laughs> that's not where you were going no i was going for, for the nose <laughs> oh i'm oh. the nose and the dog <laughs> a white woman bro uh, Scrumpy's clone says, "What is your favorite tweet of all time?" They can be tweets are so Wait, garbage. Who is who's, who's the clone? Uh, Jack Maris. Oh, he's yeah. not a clone. Shut the fuck all up. All right, well, he has the exact same opinions as you, yeah, and the same white like, He's just based. Let him be. Yeah, what he is, is based. All time? I love, I love the. Uh, I'm gonna get wrong, but my favorite tweet was. Uh, you, on this site, you could say, I like waffles, and motherfuckers be like, you hate pancakes? No, motherfucker, I did not say that. That's a whole new sense. That is a great one. <laughs> I'd have to check my bookmarks to see what my favorite is. I may not, to be honest, I may not even have bookmarked it. But I hope I did. I think oh. yours would probably be the uh, con- old Contra tweet where he posted the uh, girl getting fucked by a black guy just going, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that video where, like, uh, this dude walks into the kid's room and's like, wake up, my G. <laughs> oh, that's so <laughs> fucked up. Wake your ass up, G. Obviously, that's not really my favorite, but um, let's see. A lot of my saved images are in porn. Wait, you scrub. Uh, sorry. Uh, character, favorite character, right? Favorite no. tweet. <laughs> favorite tweets all the time. Well, they can be garbage or bangers. Uh... I don't remember my own tweets at all, so uh, let's go for the girl cock uh, tweet I made like two days ago. I thought I was the one that really had a good answer for this. <laughs> all right. What's your favorite sci-fi or fantasy universe one, and why is it better than others? Guy has some spice in there, a little bit of controversy. Wait, repeat the question. 
what is your favorite sci-fi or fantasy universe and why is it better than others? Got to add some spice in there. A little bit of controversy. Sci-fi and fantasy. Well, I know what Scrumpy's answer is already. Um, <laughs> um, I love the thing. It's better than most right? things because, well, obviously they use practical effects and you never know who exactly the thing is until it's revealed. There's I'm like theories to... to this day on like who the thing is, when and where. And I love it because of that. I'm going to say Berserk. Uh, I really like Berserk. It's got a cool universe. Like a lot of like mixture of like weird cool shit. Um, it's, it's a nice little dark fantasy about like a man who just goes against the grain of destiny. Of mm-hmm. another like dark fight and just pushes through it. And it's classic. And I like it better than most you know, other fuck ones where it's just kind of like bullshit. Scrump? Sorry, what? <laughs> I was too busy killing people. My bad. <laughs> you know, we're maybe, changing maybe games next right. week. <laughs> what's your uh, What's your favorite sci-fi or fantasy in uh, universe, and why is it better than other ones? Um. Uh, well, I guess we can just pick up Lord of the Rings again because, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty. It's it is. It is I, I uh, the first I ever heard you really talk about Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you never mentioned your love for it before. Uh, I've always, I've always been really fond of the series, to be honest. Like, I, I don't talk much about it, but still, it's pretty it's pretty much one of my uh, favorite uh, film series and sci-fi uh, stuff. All right. Uh, what's y'all's music prefer- uh, preferences? Alternative rock. You know, like Star Set, Linkin Park, Muse. Well, Muse is, no, I wouldn't say alternative rock. They're like everything else. Uh, hip hop rap. Oh yeah, I'm black. I, I need to say rap too. I do all genres, but if I had to pick like my main one, rap. You see, I do like the Jay Z's and the Tupacs and the Biggies. <laughs> yeah, that point six African in me. <laughs> what are you, Scrum? I think I would go for metal and rock music. He does think that's just some of it down. Yeah. True. I always forget well, he's into that. Because I, I know really? he's like really into Muse, so it's like Muse and the System of Down are kind of like opposites. But are Muse they? does, well, Muse does have like some more rock songs, like Plug In Baby, for example. But yeah, I always like I always compare things like Madness to like Aerials or something like that. But it one I've been listening to lately here lately, like my last two songs, uh, The Weekend Radio Edit by Michael Gray. Uh, that is. Just, a banger, but the main thing is a lag train. Gusty put me onto that, and that's just a banger. All right, and I'm pretty sure this might be the last question. I'll look after we answer it. I got a question Would you join the Yakuza? Yes, <laughs> yes, I think that's an automatic yes for Chubbs. Yeah, yeah like, uh, why, why wouldn't you? Oh, but I, I think I would as well. I mean, why not, you know? Uh, yeah. That'd be cool. I would love, I think me and Mike would be great Yakuza's together. Oh, yeah. No like, shit. I think I would be like the Majima to Sajima. I just realized none of you get that fucking reference. <laughs> but, <laughs> Dory, your followers uh, do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, that'd be really cool. But my, like, me and Mike just like walk it down, like, yeah, man, and I beat the fuck out of someone for my. <laughs> Yeah, I collect the money I bring in for my my own pride. I think me and Mike would actually be really good at Yakuza because he'd probably do more of the business shit and I would just do more of the criminal stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Only one, one, there's a, there is a, the, going the theory of multiple universe, there's a theory of me and Mike are Yakuza's. So, it's possible. Anyway, that is, that's everything. That's all we got here. All right. All right, well, how long have we been recording? Uh, I want to say around 50 minutes at this point. Yep. Okay. So, uh, it's fighting we end when, when Scrumpy's dead here. I'm not, yeah, I'm lying dead. Thanks. Come to the funeral. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope we managed to answer your questions good. Um, better than most. I'm sorry for, uh, wait, what do you mean? We were referring to you. <laughs> well, what do you mean by that? Yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye. bye.